Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Fox channel here and in this video we're gonna be talking about or I'm gonna be taking a look at the newest version of iOS, the iOS 11.0.3 that Apple has just released. I know that you probably have installed it already, but if not, I'm gonna be telling you if it's a good idea to do so. And if you did already update, I'm gonna let you know about the things that have changed or that are new in this update. So without any further hesitation, let's get started with the video. So this here is the actual update. As you can see, I was 11.0.3. Its size is about 278 megabytes. So this update, since this is official update that everyone can go ahead and install, it means that the description of this update has a lot to tell us. So let's go quickly through this. So this update fixes an issue where audio and haptic feedback would not work on some iPhone 7 and 7 Plus devices. I'm using the iPhone 7 at this point of time, it is my daily driver and also I'm using it right now to make this video, so I should probably know about the bugs that are being removed in this version of iOS. And in fact, I really do know about it. When you 3D touch on pretty much any of those icons, you're not getting the haptic feedback all of the time. And after a couple of months, it has been resolved. I mean, it wasn't that bad, so it wouldn't work like 1 out of 10 tries. I'm not sure if there were any other areas where the haptic feedback was not working or was not working properly, but for me it was only when 3D touching or forced pressing on an icon on the home screen. So what else can we see here? So as you can see this update also addresses an issue where touch input was unresponsive on some iPhone 6s displays because they were not serviced with genuine Apple parts. There is also the note at the bottom which actually explains what Apple means by not genuine Apple parts. And it basically means that it is some kind of China fake Apple displays. So after this type of screen was put on an iPhone, it was not working properly. I mean, you could see pretty much everything, but the 3D touch was not working all the time. And Apple is kind enough to also fix those issues. It is really nice from Apple that they also care about those customers and those people that do not have the original parts like display for example on their iPhone or other iOS devices. It is really great to be honest. Well, that would be about it in terms of the update description from the settings. Maybe you noticed that it was in photos and that means that it is just a screenshot and that also means that this update is already installed on my iOS device. So if I just go into the software update section in the settings, I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi actually. And as you can see, iOS 11.0.3 right there. So your software is up to date. And what are the other features that have been added or what are the other things that have been changed? Well, to be honest, there isn't anything else. Well, only those things that were listed in the update description. Only bug fixes and improvements. It is a very small update, but you can't really expect to see many new features when the update is like iOS 11.0.3. It's not like iOS 11.1, which would bring a lot. By the way, in the iOS 11.1, there are new emojis, as you could see in the second beta. But this video is about iOS 11.0.3, and here we don't have any new features, no visual changes. And now let's take a look at the storage before and after installing the iOS, just like all the time. So as you can see, this here is iOS 11.0.2, and the storage is 4.11 gigabytes. If I just swipe, you can see there is this iOS 11.0.3, and the storage is 4.02 gigabytes. But if you could notice the amount of but if you notice, the amount of photos is different here. I took a lot of photos after the update was installed and then I took a screenshot, so it's not really fair comparison right here, so I'm not gonna say that the update took some storage for me. And that's it guys, there is not much what I could say about this update, and if the question is if you should go ahead and update, then the answer would be that yes, it is a good idea to install the update. Probably only because the bugs have been removed in this update. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, then don't hesitate with clicking the like button, and also click the subscribe button if you want to stay in touch or be updated when there is a new video. Enjoy the rest of your day and see you in the next one.